Hey guys, what's going on? This is Dan here for the Electronic Guinea Pig channel, and I know it's been a while. It has been a while, um, but kind of starting to get back into videos, so we'll see how it goes. Today I have an app for you guys called Display Pad. It's for the iPad, and what it does is it turns your desktop or laptop display on an iMac or a MacBook Pro or a MacBook and it will turn it into an external display. Really pretty easy setup. You just got to go into the App Store on your iPad and download Display Pad. It's uh, developed by Clean Cut Code and it is $2.99. So once you download it, you go to the app, launch the app, and this will come up. It will say welcome to display pad. And what it will do is it will tell you to download the application onto your uh, desktop or MacBook. And once you do, you connect both of the iPad and uh, the computer uh, to your wire the same wireless network that you have in your house and you will have you also have that little display uh, up in your top right hand corner with all your other icons so I've already downloaded the app and I've downloaded the app onto my computer as well you just go to their website which is cleancutcode.com slash display pad uh, to download the application you just click on that right there so once I've downloaded the application onto my computer, I'm going to go and click on it and scroll down to Daniel Nesfetter's iPad. Once I do that, it'll say that I'm connected. And now as you can see, I can scroll over and use the iPad as a second display. Now there is a little bit of lag because it is all done wirelessly through the network but it is still pretty nice if you wanted to put something over there like a Twitter feed or uh, information that you needed. It does degrade the resolution on your computer if you have sort of a, a higher resolution MacBook or uh, iMac. Um, but overall I think it's a great tool for $299 and you, if you have an iPad, it would be a great idea to use as a second display. I have the orientation set a little wrong, but if you just go into settings and display preferences, you can just move that display over to the right so that way instead of scrolling to the right, I'll be able to move it over there. So it acts basically just as a display so it's pretty cool. That's all for me guys. If you guys have any questions or anything be sure to post a comment or uh, message me on my YouTube channel. Other than that that's all I have today for you guys. Check it out and uh, stay tuned for future videos.